what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? Dominican and Haitian baseball player Sammy Sosa has got to be one of the greatest to ever play the game. The dude is a legend, made a whole lot of money. Yet with all of those accolades, Sammy is still uncomfortable in his skin. Recently, he was spotted in London, kicking it, hanging out, looking on the bright side of things. I mean, the very, very bright side of things. A shadow of himself. He's no longer has that dark, melanin, beautiful skin anymore. He traded it in for the invisible color. The man, he probably can't even be recognized by his own mother. I don't know if his, own, his mother's still living, but I'm sure she wouldn't recognize him. This dude uh, was spotted like uh, back in July. People kind of went in on him on social media because he was walking around looking like a bottle of Pepto-Bismol. But he's not as pink as he used to be, but he's still pretty bad, man. This dude is the poster boy for self-hate. This dude is bleaching his skin. He is purposely mutilating himself. Sad. Now, Sammy at one point was accused of using performance enhancement drugs when he played for the Chicago Cubs, but I've always thought he was one of those good guys. I don't know what happened to dude. Man, must have been his upbringing. Wow. What makes people think that if they bleach their skin to try to look white or lighter, somehow it makes them look good? I know ugly dark-skinned people. I know ugly light-skinned and white people. Beauty has nothing to do with skin tone. It's all about facial symmetry. In some cases, youthfulness, averageness. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with people. It's not like the people that they're trying to impress is going to all of a sudden like them. If you're black and you're trying to bleach your skin to look white, or if you're Hispanic and you're trying to bleach your skin to look white, anybody that would judge you on your skin complexion and that would look down on you, that would try to marginalize you because of your ethnicity, is going to continue to do it anyway because they know you're not who they're looking at. You're not who you're pretending to be. So you're still going to get it. <laughs> you're going through all of that to be accepted by someone who will never accept you anyway. Just don't make sense. One of the things I find funny about us humans is that many dark-skinned people want to be lighter and many light-skinned people want to get a tan so they can be darker. And we both hate on each other. <laughs> There's a company out there that I believe have the greatest slogan ever when it comes to being comfortable with who you are. It was my mom's favorite skin cream, all of Olay. Their slogan, love the skin you're in. No more talk. What, what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. Order, 
Six.